So with the playoffs underway and my warrior's not looking so good. We're hanging on. We're tied. We were the champs. We shouldn't be doing this. The kings are hungry. Oh, they are. The kings are kicking ass. I'm very happy for them. But there's another king that I thought that we should just visit one of my favorite shoes abyss. This is the Nike LeBron 10 Elite. <laughs> Yo, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. If you have been here as a subscriber or a viewer, hopefully both. If you're not, there's a button down there and you can press it. It'll, you know, make you subscribe. It's pretty cool. Just do it! But anyways, back in the day, not too far back in the day, but back in the early years of sneaker YouTube, there was this thing that Nike Basketball did called the Elite Series. It where... was a pain in the ass. Oh, it was. <laughs> it, it really messed me up because I would review the regular shoe and then they would increase the price a, a lot and release these Elite versions. And I was always kind of like, bro, these are signature shoes. They should already be Elite. But it was a very fun time in sneakers just because of the stuff that they would do to the Elite models in comparison to the regulars. Now, this is the box right here and it's a monster dude like it has no reason to be this big really nothing but anyways when we moved up to sacramento uh from the bay area where we're originally from uh, i got rid of a lot of this stuff just because i wasn't using it i didn't really have time to i would always just be on the next model so once i was done with the shoe i'd put it back and uh, i would move on to the next thing and never really got to go back and revisit things however now that i can't really hoop anymore because of my good old hips every once in a while i see something where i'm just like hey i think i'd like to revisit that shoe and stuff like that so i was on ebay on top shelf kicks's ebay page shout out to top shelf kicks by the way that's where i got these from great price they were used so i had them checked to make sure that they were still wearable i made them like pull apart on the midsole area on the outsole area the bubble itself and all that stuff there is no separation or no signs of separation so i was like yes i will take those if you don't know about Top Shelf Kicks, they also have a YouTube channel, but basically they're a resale and consignment shop that doesn't tax you. You know what I mean? Like, I like the used stuff because you can find it for a great ass price. But anyway, this is the LeBron 10 Elite. I love the LeBron 10. However, I did have stability issues right here at the forefoot. And so on certain movements, uh, mostly because of my playing style, this is not like, this is a linear shoe. You know what I mean? Like, LeBron's a linear player, so they were made or built for him and players like that. But for some of the that played like myself, I would do a a lot of lateral movements i was a smaller guard so obviously i was just constantly moving around the floor and every once in a while i get some instability right there with the elite series it felt like they increased the psi level of the bags and it made for just a much smoother ride, especially if you were a moving player, you know what I mean? So I remember really loving the Elite version versus the original version. And when I took these back out on court, it just kind of like cemented the fact that I just love this shoe, man. These are fantastic. I don't know if everybody feels this way, but I do feel that as far as some of the LeBron full-on signatures, I'm not talking about the soldiers or anything like that, but as the mainline signature, these might be one of the more fan favorite models. But feel free to let me know down below. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's something else, maybe like LeBron 6, maybe it's the 7, maybe it's the 8. I don't know. Now, as far as the outsole is concerned, this stuff right here just worked really well indoors and outdoors based off of my memory. And then when I played in them recently, I only took them outdoors and they're still just as good as I remember. They grip the floor like crazy, which is awesome. Even though this is kind of like a linear feeling shoe, so like a front to back or north to south type of player, the pattern is actually for multi direction. So you can see all of the lines they're crossing pretty much everywhere and it's for any type of movement. So I really love that. I still love it. Believe it or not, the outsole is fairly durable. You know, take that for what you will and then the cushion is probably the main thing that i still just love and it feels even weirder now because they don't really make shoes like this anymore which is unfortunate but this is a full length zoom air unit max zoom this is crazy i i love the zoom strobles i love the large volume zoom bags i love the unlocked stuff that we've gotten from jordan brand but this is zoomy look at that tensile air you have no idea what she just did to me right there. <laughs> I'm so glad the camera's from here up. Oh, behave. But anyways, like I was saying, this is a max zoom unit. So basically it's like their 360 Air Max bag, but instead of it being Air Max, which had uh, sturdy pillars throughout the entire bag or unit or whatever you want to call it. Instead, it's full of tensile air fibers, which you can clearly see everywhere you look. There are still Air Max pillars in there. Those are actually for stability. So that's why they're in there. They're there are foam pillars as well, or they're filled with foam is what I should say. So when you look at an Air Max pillar inside, they have kind of like the, what looks like tube 
tubes or chambers. What that basically is, is just foam inside of those pillars so that the bag doesn't collapse completely. And that way you're getting cushion, but you're also getting stability at the same time. And again, when you raise the PSI level, like they did with this bag here, it actually increases the springiness, believe it or not, which is really weird. So these things just feel amazing. They still feel very strange because it, it really does make it feel like it's propelling you forward, which some people may like, some people may not. I know that this is a real big favorite amongst big players. So uh, this is just one of those shoes where if you have not tried this, it's just one of those shoes that should be on your checklist to try one day. Now sitting above that is actually a Phylon midsole. Uh, this is my favorite colorway of the shoe itself because they got that cement look to it. So you got the splatter paint and all that stuff. It's gray. I think they're gorgeous. As far as the upper goes, uh, this whole thing is a TPU and mesh based upper. Not my favorite. The fit overall is tight. Like I forgot how snug these were. They look bubbly. No, my toes are in there like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're straight jacket inside that shoe. A great fit for performance for some people, but for some people it's just going to be suffocating. So uh, yeah, even when I first put these back on, I was like, what the sh did my foot grow? You know what I mean? And it didn't. I just had to get used to it. And I remember that from the original one. But yeah, so true to size for most people is going to be too snug. I'm just going to tell you right now, most people want to go up half a size. However, that's where you could get some instability within the fit and stuff like that. So this shoe just might not be for everybody. But anyways, the overall upper uh, I think is very nice just because it's durable. It's not my favorite material or anything like that. But you, you know, this is 2013. Look at these things. They still look brand new. So yeah, it's a durable shoe. And for that, you you gotta give it some props you know what i mean like it's just it is what it is there are fly wire lacing cables that go all the way down to the footbed i know that they still use this sometimes but it's not all the time i don't know if it's because fly wire is just old to them so they're like what i loved about this one though is that they increase the stability of not only the rear but the forefoot area that instability area that i was having with these carbon fiber panels and this is where like the shoe just really is elevated compared to the original because at that point the shoe is almost the same you know what I mean? Like between the elite and the non-elite version. But these carbon fiber panels right here really took it up a notch and they still work. It still, you know, works really well today. I think it's a fantastic shoe. Is it one of my favorites out of the LeBron series? Yes, it is. Is it my favorite LeBron ever? That still goes to LeBron Soldier 3. If they ever retro that shoe, even though I don't really play basketball anymore. <sighs> I would still grab a couple pairs of those because they're fantastic. But anyways, I did want to just kind of revisit one of my favorite or one of what I consider the best uh, basketball shoes, maybe of all time. But you, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Is this one of the best LeBrons? Is it one of the best basketball shoes of all time? If you've played in these, sound off below and let us know. Hopefully you liked us revisiting one of these older models. If you'd like us to continue to do stuff just like this, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment to let me know. Otherwise, this might be one of the last ones. I mean, I don't know. You guys got to sound off. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, if you don't tell me stuff, how am I supposed to know? But thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Maybe you still play in yours. I'm not sure. But until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.